Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to install car locking and unlocking. Welcome back to my Roblox car community tutorials. So, today we will be working on unlocking and locking your car. How to add that command. So when you like, you type in, you type in like that in the chat, it will actually lock. It will actually lock your car or something like that. And yeah, let's get started. Cause you know that we got time to get ourselves together. Alright, first things first, I'll provide these two scripts in the description below. So double click on lock and this is what you'll see. So going down to the lighting system here, um, as you guys can see, it's already correct, it's already the correct name. It's already named the correct way as these are named. If you, if uh, this script doesn't match your light names, just change it to your turn signal desired names. And you have to make it exactly like the uh, name or else it wouldn't work. In this case, let's just say it was right indicator. And it doesn't work. When you type in lock in the game, it doesn't work, right? So you're gonna look here and it says right in. So, what you're going to do, you're going to name it right in, and then it works. So, first things first. Well, I don't need, why do I keep saying first things first? I'm sorry, guys. So, take these and drag it into the Makara model. Let go. It's going to put it in here. Now, you're going to click the plus sign in credits to trueness and search up string value. Click on that. It's going to put it inside the car. Name it owner and put your name inside the owner value. All right, now, once you click play, and you have all the names ready, and all the names um, and everything uh, written right, and everything like that, it should work. All right, so now, once you go into the game, you can type in lock, and it will lock and unlock. It will unlock and flash two times. And do it again here. Unlock and lock. All right, so customizing your scripts. You can double click the script and you can, let's say, uh, let's just do like, um, let's see. Um, L elephant, elephant. Make sure you type in the lock command or unlock command, whichever command you want to customize the chat uh, command here. So in this case, when I type in elephant in the chat, it's going to lock the car. So we're going back into the game here. And if you type in elephant, it will lock the car. Elephant. Boom, it locks the car. <laughs> and you can customize our in RPs. Let us lock. You can customize in RPs to do like locks car. And then this one you can do unlocks car. So then when you're going into the game, you can just simply type in locks car for RPs and stuff. And uh, you can simply move on with your role playing and with your car locked. So let me go and open up the game here. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. So let's say if you want to do like locks car, see it locks your car. Then if you want to do unlocks car, it unlocks. So yeah, that's basically how you customize your commands, and now you want to customize the color of your car, sure. You can make it like this. There's honestly lots of cool things you can do. So like on the unlock, it flashes two times, right? You can make the front turn signals or any desired turn signal change colors while unlocking. So I'm going to make my turn signal on the front. Um, uh, flash the first time it's going to be unlocked like yeah, i'm gonna make it like i'm gonna make it like um uh, blue so let's say really blue the, the first time it flashes it's gonna be blue on the second flash it's gonna be orange so let's test it if i'm right 
okay, the right indicator on the front should be blue when I unlock it. On the first, fl the first flash, it's gonna be blue, and then on the second flash, it's gonna go back yellow. And if you don't want it, anything to be that color, you can change the colors and everything like that. It's just very confusing to explain. I do not know how to explain it really well. Unlock, oh wait, unlock scar. See, the turn signal turns blue and then orange. So yeah, that's basically how you customize and add the locking and unlocking to your car. Thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll provide all these in the description below. You just have to make the owner value yourself or take it from another car, and yeah, thank you guys for watching.